Today's book, Sitting Kills and Moving Heels, by Dr. Joan Vernikos, who was at NASA when we landed a man on the moon. She studied how astronauts in zero gravity give us an example of how our sedentary lifestyles and binge-watching marathons affect our well-being. Movement of almost any kind, she says, is essential for health, longevity, and strength. Fascinating stuff. Interviewed her, loved her and her energy. Here's your one-minute summary. Gravity is essential. Researchers found that astronauts lose muscle, bone, balance, and stamina in space. Traits we also lose with too much sitting. She has something called NEAT, N-E-A-T, non-exercise movement. Activities like standing, walking, stretching, bending, even changing posture are powerful. These everyday small movements revitalize your body far more often than gym workouts alone. You want to build what she calls G habits. These are gravity-friendly habits, things that naturally resist gravity. Standing up regularly, moving during the day, using stairs, lifting, stretching, integrated into daily life, etc. That's why I get up every thousand seconds. I'm going to get up while I'm working. Resets your entire underlying metabolic structure. Telomeres and aging. Sitting too much accelerates cellular aging. Regular movement helps protect your telomeres, those little caps on your DNA that guard against disease. Don't substitute motion with intensity. Even if you exercise hard once a day, sitting for long stretches still harms you. The remedy is frequent motion, not just pushing hard in a gym. We talk about this all in Movement 101 as well. Check it out. You don't need a fancy workout, just constant motion. So what small way will you move more today? Stand up, stretch, pace, climb some stairs, whatever it takes.